Today we got an interesting video. So about a week ago, I hit on the sneakers app for the Jordan 4 Red Thunder, and I was excited. I never hit on the sneakers app, and so when it was a shoe, even if I wasn't gonna wear it, I hit on the sneakers app. It feels good, it makes your day. You get a dub. Not an L, like every other week, but I got a dub. And it happened to be the Jordan 4 Red Thunder, or Crimson, whatever you wanna call it. I think the official name's Crimson, but it is the Thunder. And so I got them for retail. I got a 10 and a half, I was very excited, and the only thing was I didn't think I was gonna wear them. It's an all black upper and I, it's red. I, it's just a, not a colorway I'd normally wear. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna post a video and when I get them in and I'm, when I'm done making a YouTube video and reviewing them, I'm gonna give them away for retail on my Instagram story. I can make the 80 to 100 bucks, but it was like I'd rather hook up the community and my followers with pair for retail that they're gonna wear because you can see my collection. I wear all my shoes and I appreciate it when people hook me up. So I'd like to give back a little bit. So I've been waiting for the shoes to arrive for four or five days now, and I went to the post office this morning, I picked it up from my P.O. box, the box looks fine on the outside, I got in and I opened it, and I was met with this unfortunate circumstance, a moldy box. Now, something to note was the outside of the shipping box was completely fine, there was nothing wrong with it, there's no mold, there's no anything, it looks like they missed a piece of tape where it Something could have seeped in, but nothing on the outside of the shipping box is ruined. So it leads me to question, was this a shipping error or was it a Nike error? And I honestly, I don't know because I've seen a lot of quality issues. I've seen people with glue stains. I've seen people with misaligned logos on the back of the shoe. I've seen a ton of different circumstances of quality issues on this pair of shoes and this release. So moldy box. So let's open it up. Um, if you've already seen my Instagram and TikTok, you've seen that. I've already opened these, but let's open it up for the YouTube video and talk about everything. So we see here a little close up on this sandy slash mold. I don't know what it is exactly on the box. It's just, it's not supposed to be there. We can also see a little bit of box damage in this corner. Regular size logo. Let's open it up here. And this is where I was getting nervous is because right when I opened the lid, you could see it was in on the inside. And that's when I knew that it was probably gonna affect the shoes. So you can see it there on the inside lid. But let's open up the paper here. And to my surprise, the shoes were damaged, which I mean, it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal, I guess, but it's just a bummer because it's new buck and new buck is very sensitive to getting dirty if you don't put a protectant on it. So you can see it's, it's pretty dirty here. I'm gonna do my best to clean it up after this video. The sole is probably the most affected. I, I honestly, I don't know if it's sand or salt or water or what it is. It's kind of a mix of all of them, but very vibrant red. It's exactly how it looks on camera. It's very vibrant. But if we look at the right shoe, for the most part, it's all right. There's a little bit of crumbs of stuff all over the shoe, but not enough where it really affect it. The sole is dead stock as it should be when I get it. I should be able to clean the rest of this stuff off. So I already posted on my Instagram talking about this and I posted a short video on them. I'm gonna look at some of the comments because I think it's interesting to look at. You can see I'm getting just crazy DM flooded right now. But looking at the comments because I asked what I should do with this pair because I'm tru truly interested. I wanna kind of document the process and what I should do with these. So if this happens to you, you know what to do. Looking at the comments, I'm seeing a lot of I can take these. So I got a comment, try to get a refund from Nike and see if they will let you keep them or a discount. I would return them, just clean it. So I had a few comments saying that Nike has a warranty program where if the shoe's destroyed when you ship it, they'll refund you. So I think my next course of action is to call Nike, see if I can file a claim or whatever the process is and see if I can get my money back. So let's go do that. Was the item the Hair Jordans for Rico Mitchell? Yes. It was the black and red pair. Um, I was trying to do a reshooting for you, but this item is no longer available. So you have the option. Um, file a claim for it or get the refund. All right, so I just got off the phone with the Nike specialist and a little bit of a recap on that. They want me to send the shoes back in order to get a refund. And she talked about on the phone that if they don't have it in stock, then they would just refund me and I could keep the shoes. But I just got the email. They want me to send the shoes back to their claim services so they can evaluate the shoe and figure out what to do. But I don't want to send it back because they were limited and I still want to give them away. So I tried the Nike route and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them up because I think it's cleanable. I have a cleaning kit. I'll clean them up and then come back and show you the video. But I think I'm going to clean them up, still toss them up for retail on my Instagram story. So if you want these, 
you're a ten and a half and you're looking for a beater pair, then I got you covered because they're brand new. They've never been tried on. They're just a little dirty. So I'm going to clean them as best as I can and then uh, I'll come back to you guys. All right, so I just got done cleaning them up. I got the box as good as I could. There's a little bit left, but if I get any more water on there, that it'll warp the box permanently, which I just want to get the dirt and stuff off. The shoes are still kind of messed up. I got them as good as I could. The suede, the new buck on the shoe is relatively fine. It's still a little dusty. Um, this toe box part, I couldn't really get out. The sole is pretty clean now. Um, and then this shoe is, was the sole was fine on this shoe, but the new buck is still kind of messed up, which it's just dusty. So if you're gonna wear the shoes, I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, I think the moral of the story is um, Nike just needs to step it up. We've we've seen Nike boxes getting stolen because they have the Just Do It tape. We've seen boxes getting destroyed in the mail. I think the problem with this one was it, it was probably a shipping error. I'm not sure how it happens because I had two other packages the same day and none of them, neither of them were destroyed. So uh, it's just an interesting thing to note and um, yeah, I think Nike just needs to do better. But anyways, these will be up for retail on my Instagram story in the coming hours. So if you want to check that out, then go to my Instagram. It's linked down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and leave your comments on this below. And if you got the Red Thunders and if you had an issue, any issues with it. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.